Good afternoon. Triplers. I've managed to prise myself away from the woods. And you come to me just as I enter. Ooh, uh, I enter the Orwell Bridge. Tied in. How are we all then? Have you seen where I've been this week? Back at work, third week, going solo. Flew solo. Had a good week actually. Started off with the local collection Monday and then um, went up to uh, Spalding, done a collection. Uh, that was for Aldi at Cardiff. So done that Tuesday mornings. And then back up to Monmouthshire. Hereford? Yes sir. Herefordshire, Hereford. Picked up 18 tonne of rye grass for Broxbourne, just to the left, if you're looking at the map, just to the left of, uh, hello fellow, didn't even nod. What a grumpy load of pisses. Just to the left of Edinburgh Airport. So I dropped that Wednesday morning. And then uh, weave me way down to Radcliffe near Manchester and collected Thursday morning and brought it back to the yard mate. And then obviously four days I'm only doing. So uh, yeah, that was a bloody good week actually. I like it when there's lots of driving. So we got some hours in, got some nights out. So it's all good in the hood this week. I forgot to say it's Saturday. Look at that. We're in Essex, blimey. We've not only prized ourselves out of the woods, we've gone into a different county. We're in Essex, baby. Warning, low bridge. Is that low bridge, boy? You got low bridge? Got low bridge, shall we? Shall we? Shall we? Just at the other end, I've got to cock my head around and stop. Over the railway bridge. Might be able to do it by the mirror, you never know, boy. Can we go? Yeah. Oh, well executed, David. Manning tree. Still got me squeaky brakes, and I think they're binding slightly as well, which isn't good, is it? Seems free. Oh, I don't know. I think that's just because, um, I put them together wrong, probably. No, because I didn't. Dispatched. Can you see me? Here comes another biker, Willie Wave. Oh, not. All right, boy. There you go. Proper job. Not. That's because he was on a Honda Africa. And they're all good old boys, aren't the same as this bloke. He's on some sort of bobster thing. Left here. Used to go in there, see Keith. Heart's delight. He was a bit of a wheeler dealer, old Keith. Cah! My God. Ooh. 
Welcome back to the Triple Dave Dribble Show. Ooh, lager. Don't do that no more. This is, that is Miss Lee Key there. Miss Lee. Nice right here, isn't it? Miss Lee, hello. And a coffee shop. We should be ending up at a coffee resort. You might guess where we're going. We're going slightly, oh, we're on Harridge Road. That might give you a clue. Harridge Road, Dave. No, don't know. The anchor in, there's gotta be someone, oh, chip shop, somebody to shout at. All right, boy, how you getting on? They won't understand me. One thing I think I'm from Norfolk, and the second thing is, they won't understand how you're getting on, because I've done that in Scotland, and the bloke looked at me funny, thinking, the hell is this bloke on about? How am I getting on? On what? <laughs> Billy! Hey! How you getting on, pal? Nobody commented about my impression of Billy Connolly. Probably because you didn't get that far in the video. You are naughty, not watching until the end. Sometimes there is literally gold at the end. Gold. In my personal view. Nationals. So you should always, always, always watch until the end. Not just the first five and a half minutes. Because that just, that's no good for nobody. Plus you don't get the full triple dive experience, do you? Twisty. Oh, we're out of the woods, but we're in, we're in the wet twisties. Get your knee down on a Saturday. Come on. suddenly stopped. Jump! Oh, got to do a left here, mate. Are you going to Ramsey, David? Where's the junction, mate? Oh, a triple day fanboy. Good to see other people are in orange. Is it here? Squeaky. That ain't got a spire, that church there, look. Do you reckon that was used in the war of it, mate? Oh, talking about the war. Harridge, that's where I'm going. Spoiler alert. I looked on Wikipedia this morning and there's a lot of information about Harridge. Now, to start off with, well, I shan't. We'll wait till we get there. Look at this road, man. Proper job. It was in Old England, it was called Harewick, H-E-R-E Wick, W-I-C, which meant uh, something, and I totally forgot, I'll tell you all about it later. <coughs> I think me and my neighbour came this way once. Michael, if you keep watching these videos, I'm talking about you. Didn't we come this way when we went to Walton once and got in a right old pickle? Because we 
didn't really want to end up in Harwich, but we more or less did, but... <coughs> Tell you what, these anarchy freeze, it's just like glue stuck to the tarmac. One of the videos I will show you when we get there but just the other side is Shotley and you can see Shotley Point which is another little peninsula which is where the Orwell and the Saw rivers meet well this is directly opposite Harwick Harwich when we get there okay I'm just waffling now I'll see you, I'll bring you back when we're in Har Harewick. Welcome back. We're only going to Maid, ain't we? That's obviously the uh, port down now. I have shipped out of there myself. Parage to the Hook Holland in an HGV. Once. I think that bit there is Dovercourt. I don't know where Dovercourt ends and carriage starts. I don't know. Oh, this that is new. I've not seen that before. I thought, huh? What is that then? not for storage, that must be customs or something, is it? I don't know. Lose that twat who's sitting up my arse. I was only interested in what that place was. God! People get so excited nowadays, don't they? That's obviously uh, Felix though over there, you can see with the cranes and them four poking up there uh, probably still feeling so, I don't know <laughs> Harridge got cranes because they haven't David they don't unload containers do they everything going there on skids mate this twat is still sitting up my arse look what is the speed limit along here? I shall have to stop and get off in a minute and tell him the error of his way, I'm afraid. <coughs> Woodyard. Timber. Mostly fence panelling. Spent a couple of nights. Uh, we used to go, well we still do I think parked up in there overnight because we've been on the uh, port and picked something up but we ain't very far away from where we're going to stop and hopefully there's matey with his little tea van around here so here we go whoop whoop <laughs> Harridge can we park somewhere, do you reckon? Yeah, down there, I reckon. There probably is a bike park in there. Over there, look. Let's go and do that before some not right tells me that I ain't allowed to park here. Here! Whoa! Right now, do it. <laughs> Are you right? I was going to park over there, but they get a bit funny some places, don't they? Yeah, I always put it over here when we come down here. Yeah. 
I know the last time we went to Wells on sea, we didn't park in the bays, we parked out of the way and then we all had bloody tickets. Here's me face. So, it's a position on the estuary of the Saw and Orwell rivers. And uh, what I was talking about earlier, the military connection, there was a naval base here in 1657, a long while ago, wasn't it? And that did say here why. Oh, and that says Harwich is the likely launch point of the Mayflower, which was carried England something or other to North America. The oh, the birthplace of Christopher Jones, who was captain of the Mayflower in 16 something or other. Good, isn't it? Oh, here you go, military settlement. That's what um, Herewick means. And the town receives its charter in 1238. The Romans have been here. They have the French have tried to get here in the Hundred Year War, 1339. <coughs> William of Orange, he had a go. All sorts, isn't it? This bit interested me. The Royal Navy at Harwich for the British submarines in November 1918, the German U-boat fleet surrendered to the Royal Navy in this very harbour. Harwich Dockyard was ex Oh, 1652. <clears throat> Operated as a rural dockyard in 1713. Blimey. It's all good, isn't it? Ah, there you go, a little bit of information. Noisy bastards. Seem to be pumping out a lot of water. Anyway, couldn't get a cup of tea because the little man sits here and he's not here during the winters. Because I spoke to the fisherman what you're looking at now. I hope you like the little bit of information about Harwich. It's nice down there actually, that's as calm as a mill pond. In it, in harbour, anywhere like you know. <coughs> so that's Felix, though. This is Harwich, and that's Shotley over there. The peninsulas, as it were. Right, as we couldn't get a cup of tea here. We'll find one elsewhere, shall we? There what, used to be a calf there. Calf on the pier, look, but they reckon that's changed hands and... Uh... Oh, what the fuck? That's a rare top box, isn't it, Ross? <laughs> if I left his keys and everything in that bike, look. No hint. Anyway, I'll bring you back. NC750. Oh, what that one? Oh, that's an NC750. Huh? X. Bit of difference, isn't it? They're obviously 
like their Hondas about here, don't they? Bit of water. We're going to have a look up a tan, shall we? He did say there was a cafe here somewhere at the community centre. It's probably that, isn't it? I don't know. Courage. Uh, there was a lot more information, but uh, British flag lot. I like a good old boozer. Another fellow biker with problems. Endless fish shops about here, and they've got sport for choice for chips. Fish and chips, mate. Tower of some sort. Toilets. Oh, well, we didn't get a cup of tea, which is fairly bloody annoying, but never mind. So, that was Harridge. This must be Dovercourt. I think it is, because I've stayed here once in a... In a Witherspoons, would you believe, which is up one of these streets, and we had a good night around here actually. There was quite a few nice boozers, you know what I mean? It could have been up there, it's in the old co op building, I remember. Yeah, it hadn't been, uh, hadn't been there long, so the, the room, even the carpet, smelt brand new. Yeah, the Witherspoons, so there, it's nice and cheap. And the beer, and the food, and the accommodation. Look at that bike. Nice. I think that was a. Uh, what is this pillock doing? <coughs> oh, one American pickers. What they always go. Oh, that's a. begins with S. You know, that's it. That. That looked like a load of them in there, you know, the push bikes with the pretend fuel caps, uh, tanks on them. Swat, swat, uh, sw oh, I can't remember now. Oh, could have got a bloody tea there. No, I probably couldn't. I've only got a handful of change, that's probably three quid for a cup of tea. Oh, God, where was I the other... Oh, it was at the football, weren't it? <coughs> £1.90 for a cup of tea. A bit of hot water and a tea bag. One ninety, And a bit of milk. A bit of cow juice. Is the white BMW going to stay there? Will Triple Dave manage to get past without getting knocked off? Will Triple Dave see the car in front braking harshly? Hey, hey then, boy. I better just add then, because um, I don't know whether I got it in or not, but this has been a Triple Day production stuck at the train crossings, Manning Tree. Hope you enjoy this video. We'll see you on the next one.